All right, so just a quick message today. Unfortunately, Genetic Matrix is still broken. I put out a message yesterday saying, wow, it looks like he finally updated and fixed his UTC algorithm. No, he's not, because this is today, Monday, May 3rd, 2021, and here we are. Okay, so uh, let me just move this, make this a little smaller. Um, okay, so I have body, my, my body graph right next to Genetic Matrix. So this is my body graph. We see that the 1st of August, 1959 at 9.31 a.m. was actually 8.31 a.m. Um, in UTC time, right? So that's important because um, what we're gonna see is that it's not what genetic matrix calculates. Okay, so here we go. Genetic matrix now, 9.31, and it has 7.31 as the UTC. So it's off by an hour. Um, so here it is, you know, uh, they have a checkbox for disabling calculating UTC. I didn't touch that checkbox. This is just a normal chart, just generated completely normally without any special modification. I did not check the box that says, in fact, if I, you know, if I do that, it messes up, it breaks all my other charts. Uh, and this one it might actually fix, weirdly enough, because you can never really tell on genetic matrix because the chart algorithm is so broken. Sometimes it fixes it, sometimes it breaks it. But in any case, what you can see here, this is a new chart that I just made that is for 9.31 a.m., 1st of August, 1959. It's saying it's at 7.31 a.m., right, London, UK, right? And again, I go back. Now I'm back in my body graph, and we can see, yeah, 1st of August, 1959, you know, 9.31. It's actually 8.31. It's not 7.31. It's actually 831. So, yeah, that's it. I just really want to do a short short one today. I just wanted to say genetic matrix is still broken. I talk too soon. I hope I don't have to do any more videos on genetic matrix because I really hope that that site just goes away. Um, but I also hope that there's some you know replacements for it. I, I'm wishing that I had a couple weeks to just build a new site that I would make like genetic matrix, but I would make it free and I would, you know, make it actually generate the correct chart. Yeah.